Good morning and peace be with you. Today is Wednesday, the 31st of August 2022. Let us pray. We thank you, Lord, for blessing us with another day. We thank you for seeing us through the month of August. We continue, dear Lord Father, to ask for your divine protection upon all our lives. Lord, as we go through life, we know that we will have enemies, whether we like it or not. But in Matthew 5.44, you have said, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Today, Lord, our greatest enemy, ultimately, is the devil. We ask you, dear Lord Father, to be with us in the real spiritual battle that goes on around us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our reading for reflection today continues from the book of Joshua, chapter 24, verses 16 to 33. And the theme for reflection is, we will serve the Lord. Let us listen to the word of the Lord. Then the people answered, far be it for us to forsake the Lord to serve other gods. It was the Lord our God himself who brought us and our parents up out of Egypt from that land of slavery and performed those great signs before our eyes. He protected us on our journey and among all the nations through which we travelled. And the Lord drove us out before all the nations, including the Amorites, who lived in the land. We too will serve the Lord because he is our God. Joshua said to the people, You are not able to serve the Lord. He is a holy God. He is a jealous God. He will not forgive your rebellion and your sins. If you forsake the Lord and serve foreign gods, he will turn and bring disaster on you and make an end of you after he has been good to you. But the people said to Joshua, No, we will serve the Lord. Then Joshua said, You are witnesses against yourselves that you have chosen to serve the Lord. Yes, we are witnesses, they replied. Now then, said Joshua, throw away the foreign gods that are among you and yield your hearts to the Lord, the God of Israel. And the people said to Joshua, we will serve the Lord our God and obey him. On that day, Joshua made a covenant for the people and there at Sheshem, he reaffirmed for them decrees and laws and Joshua recorded these things in the book of the law of the of God then he took a large stone and set it up there under the oak near the holy place of the Lord see he said to all the people this stone will be a witness against us it has heard all the words the Lord had said to us it will be a witness against you if you are untrue to your God then Joshua dismissed the people each to their own inheritance. After these signs, Joshua, son of Nun, the servant of the Lord, died at the age of 110, and they buried him in the land of his inheritance at Timnath, Serah, in the hill country of Ephraim, north of Mount Gash. Israel served the Lord throughout the lifetime of Joshua and of the elders who outlived him and who had experienced everything the Lord had done for Israel and Joseph's bones which the Israelites had brought up from Egypt were buried at Sheshem in the tract of the land that Jacob bought for a hundred pieces of silver from the sons of Hamor the father of Sheshem this became the inheritance of Joseph's descendants and Eliza son of Aaron died and was buried in Gibeah which had been allotted to his son Finas in the hill country of Ephraim. Here ends our reading for today. Thanks be to God. And remember to share the good news with others and have a favoured day. Amen.